Welcome back to SolidCam Pro. In this exercise, we are going to create this simple helical bevel gear out of the Skin Inventor. And here we will learn how to rotate and scale a sketch and how to use some basic command like loft, revolve, and more commands. So let's start to create our model. New project. Select the sketch and select front plane select line draw a line Now select uh, dimension and let's apply dimension from here to here 32.5 and from here to here 36 millimeter and from here up to here 38 millimeter and from here to here 39 45 32 millimeter Eighty millimeter one hundred two millimeter one hundred twelve millimeter one hundred sixty three millimeter. Five millimeter. Now select arc. Select this point and this point. Let's give a dimension of twelve point five. And again, select line and draw line here. And let's give a dimension of 17.5. Select this line and convert to center line. Perfect. Now our sketch is fully defined. Finish the sketch. Select revolve command. Select this profile and the axis. This line. 360 degree. Okay. And let's uh, edit this sketch. Select uh, trim command. Trim this line and this line. 
we want to create a hole here on the center like this one perfect now select this surface and create new sketch select project geometry and select this circle draw a center line select rectangle and now select on string like this point this circle this point and this circle select vertical constraint and now let's give a dimension of 10 millimeter and from here to the center 41 millimeter okay now our sketch is fully defined finish the sketch select extrude command change direction and give a dimension of 48 millimeter okay perfect now select circular pattern select this and axis just you can select this one give a number of 13 pieces okay now let's create a sketch here select this and create new sketch and here let's draw two circle one two first one 100 and the second 170 millimeter draw center line and now select arc and draw from this circle to this circle and give a dimension of 65 and from this point to this point 6 millimeter and from this point let's can select this point and this point and give a dimension of 50 millimeter now select mirror command select this arc select this center line apply it on now select circular pattern like this two arcs and the axis just select this point and give a number of eight okay now select the uh, trim command and trim this again select all this perfect now finish sketch select 
offset from plane select this surface and give a dimension of 45 okay create new sketch and now select project geometry select all these arcs And now select all right click and delete constraint okay and now select rotate command and select all this at once and select center point and give a dimension of 15 millimeter like this apply done and again select scale command and select all give a dimension of 0 0.75 apply yeah. finish the sketch again select offset from plane and give a dimension of 95 okay now let's hide this sketch this one let's create new sketch here and the same process select project geometry and select all again select all right click delete constraint and now select uh, rotate command select all yes let's select center point and give a dimension of minus 30 apply done and again select scale command select all select center point and give a dimension of 0 0.5 apply done finish the sketch now let's uh, make visible this sketch and now we are going to select uh, loft command and select this sketch this one and this one apply perfect and now Let's create new sketch here. Draw a circle. Thirty-five. Finish the sketch. Thirty-five. 
Scroll. Ok. Perfect. Now select fillet command. Select this and this one. Okay. Select chamfer. Select this edge. And this one. One millimeter. Again, select uh, fillet command. Select all this. Give a dimension of four millimeter. For the material, let's select from here. Perfect. Now let's save this project. Let's give a name part one. Okay. Again, let's create new project. Draw a line. Yes, let's give the dimension of 20 millimeter. That's enough. Finish sketch. Save. Part 2. New project and select assembly. Okay. So now our model is finished. I hope you like this video and for more video and more project in Inventor, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.